Okay, we got VA now. We're not going to make him wait any longer. The little old quarterback from Pasadena. Let's bring him in. Look at VA. Look at him. We got him. We got him. How are you, VA? I'm great, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Sorry for the technical Keeping everybody waiting. I apologize. That's my bad. Don't worry about it. It actually looks a mid- Now, you kind of look like a DJ behind that. Explain the setup. Yeah, man. You know, I was watching a couple of your shows last night. I was like, man, Rod has his desk set up. I don't have a desk yet, but, you know, he had all his stuff on there. You know, I got um, got these guys over here, my sponsorships, you know, Eternal. Shout out Eternal Water Body, Body uh, Logics, Body Armor, G2G, you know, in Seattle, here in Seattle, Seattle Seahawks, you know, uh, Got the uh, player of the year ball right there. Eastern Washington. Yeah, just got a little setup, man. That's that's all we got. You need your own show. I love it. I absolutely love it, VA. And I do have some interesting stories to get to with you, but I got to go here. Everybody's talking about your Twitter timeline the last couple of days. Ultra positive about the CFL. Ultra positive about the commissioner. Do you know something we don't? What's the impetus for what you've been writing on Twitter the last few days? Right. It's funny. You know, I've been getting DMs, too, from other players as well. Um, but nothing. I don't know anything, man. I just felt, you know, like uh, all of us, a lot of us are coming at the commissioner hard and um, the CFLPA. And I'm just sitting back thinking and I'm just like, man, like, I know it's harder than what we think, man. Obviously, we are upset about the deadlines and, you know, we think we should get paid and things like that. But you know, a lot goes into it. It's business and the government and so many things has to happen. And, and I just know I would be sick if I had thousands or hundreds of people coming at me every single day on Twitter. And, um, yeah, I just, you know, just felt like I should just lay off on them a little bit and just let it happen. Whatever happens, happens. Well, it kind of shows you the leadership qualities that you have that everybody's listening to you after you said that. So you could be positive. You could be negative. You've chosen to be positive. And and I do believe that the CFL is going to be back. By the way, VA, you and I have a mutual friend in Bob Marier. We can talk about another time, another famous Montreal guy. So he updates me on everything that you're doing and how you're feeling. And it's positive from, from Bob. Like, I know how bad you want to get onto the field because Alouette's football – is back. I mean, this is not the best time for a pause as far as Montreal pro football goes. Absolutely. Yeah. And Bob's a great guy, man. Shout out to Bob, man. Great leader in the, in the, in the city of Montreal and everything he does around the world. Uh, great guy. So as far as the Alouettes go, uh, what do you see for this football club when you do get playing? Now, I don't think there's going to be football in 2020, but you're only 27, uh, VA. you got a lot of football left in you, and I'd like to see it be with Montreal. What do you see with this franchise ahead? Yes, sir, man. I'm very excited about this franchise, man. Just getting there, all the pieces in place um, from top to bottom and then, you know, just keeping – keeping the core guys together. You know what I'm saying? I, I know uh, all my receivers are on there last year, the contract this year. So, you know, if there's no season, they're up. But I'm going to do my absolute best to get them all back. And um, because I think us being with Kahari for two, three years, it's a couple new guys, but most of us have been here for two, three years in his offense. And we're just getting better and better each year. You've seen it from 2018 to 2019 and now 2020 now. I'm a full-time starter. I got more confidence in myself. My team got confidence in me. So, you know, it just forces me to go out there, have fun, play my ball, play the best ball, and uh, just lead us. Lead us to the big game. Do you think that when we do come back from this, that James Wilder Jr. will come out of retirement? Have you talked with with uh, James? Because I just think he'll make your job so much easier when you can just hand the ball off to him. What do you think his plans are for the future? Right. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I haven't really, I haven't talked to him about it. I talked to him the day the, the announcement came out and he just told me why and everything. And um, I'm fully supportive of him, but I think he's still young and in the middle of his prime, I think um, he will come back you know, when football gets back to normal. And um, yeah, if he's with us, that's awesome, you know? And, but if not, I don't I think he only signed a one year deal. So I don't know how that all works, but I think he's in his prime and I think he, he can still come back. Well, I think, I think, you and him and uh, a lot of other guys on that Montreal roster make the Alouettes 
must-see TV. We got a lot of people writing in, a lot of Ryder fans. Uh, Miranda Foster says, hey, the best quarterback ever. Miss you, birthday buddy. Uh, that's from Miranda. You know Miranda well. Jeff Krieger says, I wish Vernon had a better time in a Riders jersey. Here's my story with VA with the Riders. This is the one thing I remember. And you uh, platoon with Bridge a little bit in some of those games. But I remember at practice, you were punting. And you yelled at Jones to give you a chance to be the punter or be a DN. And Jones is like, get off the field. You know how he is. But you're like, give me a chance. That's you, VA. You just want to play. You don't care what the position is. Remember that day? That's it, man. It, absolutely, I do, man. That's just, I just want to get on the field, man, and just help, help however I can, man. And because and I know I can play every position, I might not be the best at everyone, but I know I can do it. You know, it's uh, mind over matter and uh, having fun with it, man. And I love Coach Jones, man. One of my favorite coaches. Um, intensity, all that, man. It, I had a great time in, in Ryderville. I loved it out there. Uh, it's nothing to do, really, so that forces you to be a pro and grow up and really come to work and want to come to work with all the facilities they got there. Uh, I liked it out there. It was awesome. Well, we say it's like last chance you if you watched it. Independence, Kansas. That's us. It's all about football. <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you know, it's all about football. But, VA, you didn't get the chance here because I guess there were guys ahead of you on the depth chart. What about Montreal? There was guys ahead of you there when you showed up, and you just took it away. How did that happen? Right. You know, I think I just had a different mindset. You know, I was going into my fourth year, um, technically fourth team in my fourth year. So I just felt like this was my last chance, man. This was my last chance. And when I came in on the depth chart and I saw that I was number four, you know, on the depth chart last last training camp, it, it really shocked me, to be honest. It shocked me and it shut me down, but it shut me down in a good way where I was way more locked in. I wasn't out messing around with everybody. I was just doing my own thing and not caring what any coach or any player had to say. My biggest goal was to just get all the film so I can get traded and go play somewhere else and be a backup or something like that. But, you know, I just I showed that I deserved to be there and um, earned my way to number two. You know, some fluke injuries happened in week one with Antonio Pipkin, you know, which sucked. But, you know, that's when I got my opportunity and just ran with it. VA, our viewers got questions for you, and there's some entertaining ones. So would you mind sticking with us through a commercial break? Have you got time to do that? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Vernon Adams from his home office will be with us after this timeout. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 